Hi, I'm Darian Plum. I'm a software engineer working on distributed ledger systems and a maintainer of Hyperledger Grid. In this video, I'll go over the value statement for Grid product, take a quick look at its design, and show an example of how it can be used. Grid product is a feature within the Hyperledger Grid platform. It provides a way to share standardized product data for items that are transacted, traded, or referenced in a supply chain. Grid product is grounded in GDSN standards, which are widely adopted open standards developed and maintained by GS1 to represent product data. However, Grid product features a flexible design that can be extended to other standards as well. With Grid product, we can ensure that any product data we choose to share with our trading partners will be up to date and have the correct taxonomy. But how does Grid product accomplish this? There are three main components that make up the grid product infrastructure. Templates. Any data that goes through grid product has to adhere to a defined template. Grid product includes a default template that implements GS1 standards, but it's possible to define templates based on other standards to meet the needs of the parties involved. Rules. In a distributed ledger, smart contracts encode the logic of the system. They ensure the validity of any new data that is shared through grid. In the case of product, the smart contract ensures that the product data actually adheres to the template that we defined earlier. Permissions. Grid product integrates seamlessly with the grid permissions capability. This capability allows an administrator to grant certain agents the permission to write data to the distributed ledger. This ensures that only agents with the proper roles have the ability to create, update, or delete product records on grid product. Now we'll show an example of how grid product can be used. As you can see, we don't currently have any products shared through grid, so let's create one. First, we enter the GS1 identifier for the product that we'd like to share. Next, we select the trading partner relationship where we'd like to share this data. And finally, we enter in our grid organization ID. Next, we need to create the product record. There are a few different options here. We can enter the data manually, or we can drag and drop a spreadsheet which contains our product data. Grid product also has the ability to integrate with existing data management solutions via the Grid REST API. This would allow us to add many product records at once. For large data sets, this would be preferable over using this UI experience. Finally, we review the record and submit the transaction. This will be validated by each trading partner's Grid node. If all partners are in consensus that this data is valid based on the defined template and smart contracts, this data will be added to our shared state. As you can see, we've now created a product record using grid product. This data is replicated on all nodes in the trading partner relationship. If for some reason the product record has to be updated, we can use the grid UI to make those changes as well. Thanks for watching this video going over the basics of Grid product. If you have any more questions, please visit the Grid website at grid.hyperledger.org or reach out to the core development team on Rocket Chat. Have a great day.